Another drive south today, this time down to Hawthorne, California. And that right there is going to get something from this place right there. Yep, I'm down at Unplugged Performance where they do an amazing job uh, with all kind of mods, including check out their spoiler package there on that white one, that's sick. But that's not why I'm here. I'm not doing spoilers here. I'm getting lowering springs and sway bars put on the car today. So basically drop it off. I think he said around four hours. My appointment's coming up. Uh, I'm gonna get some before and after pics right now so we can see the difference. Should lower it about an inch and a half. I got their super performance street ones. And uh, that should clear up some of that extra space in the wheel well. So let me get some shots of that. Taking a look at before we get these lowering springs on, how it sits. So you can see the rear there. Looks like it's about, about three and a half fingers of space in the wheel well. So with that inch and a half, we're probably gonna come down to right about maybe a finger or two. So that's the rear before. And then here's the front before. Remember my rear tires are a little wider and the fronts are the same that's on your Tesla when you get it out of the shop. And same, about four and a half, three and a half fingers there, three and a half. So that'll come down to about a finger and a half. So there's a good look at before. A lot of wheel well. That's what I'm trying to get rid of, trying to make it look a lot meaner than it is right now because there's so much extra wheel well space. It doesn't sit as nice as like a BMW does. And that's the goal. And that's why we are here in Hawthorne today at Unplugged Performance. Quick little drive, about 45 minutes south of me here in California. And we'll look at some of the cars that they have out front. They have some nice spoilers here, by the way. I almost got my spoilers from here, but I had to put some money into some other areas and these are not cheap, but they are awesome. They're body kits. Like, look at that body kit, looks sweet. And the blue one here. It's got a massive tail on the back of that one. Check out the tail on this one. Look at that thing, holy moly. Look at that, that's sweet, sweet. Oh, he has the glowing T on the Tesla. That is awesome, but I really love this white. I love how they match that paint. Back is sick. That's probably one of the best diffusers you can get because it's very subtle. It just makes the back end look so good. Yeah, big fan of that. If you can afford to do the body kit this is the place to go for sure look at that and they also have those sick lug nuts you can get the colors which I don't think they have the colors online right now I was looking into those those aren't cheap either but those are uh, gonna save you some weight give you some more efficiency another cool thing about coming down here to Hawthorne to unplug performance you are right next to SpaceX and the Tesla Design Center. Check that out. Right there in the background, that building. Freaking awesome. The best part about waiting is they have a very comfortable couch here. I might fall asleep.
for about a one o'clock, 9.30, three and a half hour wait on a very comfy couch. It is completed. And look how much more aggressive it is. Coming in here. And like we thought, only two fingers now between the well and the tire. Same with the front. And that just looks sick. Look how aggressive that is. And uh, yeah, this looks really, really good. Uh, next up is taking it for a drive to see how it feels. They took it out for a test drive. They said all is good. Once again, we did the lowering springs, the unplugged performance ones, and we did sway bars on the front and the rear down here at Unplugged Performance. Hawthorne, California. A perk of being in SoCal. Everything is right here. So you can imagine how happy I am. Happy. How happy. How happy I am with the way the car looks. I'm also happy with how it's performing. The Model 3 performance has a really good suspension, so you don't have to do what I did. I think I was just a little bit spoiled by some of the suspensions that I had had in a couple of Roush Mustangs a while back. And that's why I put in the sway bars. You can really feel tighter turns, you know, when I'm driving around my corner around by the house and I'm doing 22 miles an hour. 22 miles an hour. But it really like digs into the turn and you can feel it. And the springs are nicer and higher performing than the ones they put on the Tesla to begin with. So I recommend both if you're in the Hawthorne area or SoCal, do it. My only issue, not as big as that implosion, but my issue, my own doing, is I have a steep driveway. So when I pull into the driveway and into the garage, I was scraping the bottom of the car just barely. So I had to, I had to buy a speed bump. I know. Yeah. And I had to go to the uh, Facebook group, SoCal Tesla, and ask the question, super smart or super dork? Um, yeah. So I have a speed bump. And that helps the car get into the garage so it doesn't scrape. Hmm. I think I'm forgetting something. Fight! I know what it is. It's this. I am all smiles today. It's because not only did we meet our goal, we exceeded it. We asked for 51 subs and we are up to 57. Thank you. Now, as always, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know who you are. Go ahead. Do it. If you have to, do it. If you are not a hater, then join me in my quest for a new goal. Let's shoot for 10 new subs by the time I post the next video. So 67 subscribers. I think we can do it. Maybe. It might be too high. But I'll stick with it. 67. Until next time. Tatsla. Out.